live coding seems the whole world at the moment is talking about live coding well not the whole world but uh, I did read a article on the Wired website about uh, live coding so seems as though it uh, may be something that's going to happen live coding isn't just a, a new trend it's uh, quite handy for uh, adjusting visual aspects of your, your software. Live coding is basically updating the code uh, while, the, while it's running, uh, which is great for doing visual stuff of course because uh, I'm sure you've uh, had to move some elements on the screen, uh, change some x value and then rerun the code and see what happens. Uh, Live coding is great because you can just keep on changing it until uh, until it uh, looks like you want to have it looking. Uh, there are a number of tools out there for doing live coding. Uh, one of the new kids on the block, which looks really promising, is Field. Uh, there's also a processing tool uh, by Florian Jennett uh, for doing live coding, made with uh, JRuby. But what I'm going to show here is how to do live coding with processing and Eclipse. So the first thing we have to do is create a new uh, Eclipse project. Just our build class to an build path to include uh, processing libraries, which is in core in the lib directory of processing. Uh, I'm also going to add a library which, um, surprise, surprise, is going to be fluid forms libs. First thing we want to do is extend the applet. Press uh, Control Shift M to have the import included. We create our usual setup stuff. Use the processing 3D renderer. And what else would I draw but a box? I'm also going to set up the fluid forms lips library gives me a few useful things that I usually have to do when doing 3D stuff. So, if we run this guy now, we should see a box in the middle of the screen. And voila. So, now we want to start live coding. Uh, to do live coding, uh, we have to run the sketch using uh, debug mode. So we select debug mode, live coding again, and we'll switch to the debug perspective. And we don't want to have a grey box, we can have a red box. Save, it compiles a class new again, and 
voila, we've got red. So just to prove that uh, that was actually live coding, I'm going to uh, interact with the sketch by rotating it and uh, change the color again. Don't like red, I want orange. And it's orange. So, I mean, box isn't particularly interesting, so let's chuck in a few more boxes. shortcut for moving lines up and down is holding the alt button and pressing up and down just a little tip there and of course we don't want to add the box at the same place all the time so translate So I'm just taking random here as an input. Uh, you can use anything instead of random. You can take um, the volume of music or a specific frequency from an FFT analysis. And we run this again and we've got some kind of vibrating box. It's actually because he's randomly generating them. If we add a bit of alpha we should be able to see all of the boxes. So 30 and there we go. Pretty clever, eh? Let's uh, add a bit of rotation in there. processing guys listening I'd um, really like to see frame count as a float it would um, save, save me having to, to cast it all the time so and we've got a bit of animation in there we can do all sorts of things to adjust what we're doing mouse Y and now uh, with a bit of uh, mouse interaction we're uh, away away and at it That's uh, live coding for you. Pretty, and we don't have to add any code to processing. Just uh, open up Eclipse, Eclipse and start your sketch in debug mode and uh, have fun. Toodaloo!